What's up guys? I'm in Bangkok, Thailand right now. It's one of the busiest city in Southeast Asia. Yeah, today I'm visiting um, Palazzo in Bangkok. Yeah, it seems around this area. Yes, hopefully I can get some halal food here. So let's see what I'm going to get. So if you like video like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Anyway, in uh, Thailand, compared to Malaysia or Singapore, it's more humid. Yes, I've, I always sw got sweat whenever I go outside. Yeah, completely different from Malaysia. I feel like uh, summer in Japan. Yes, the, the food stall is this that direction. It's uh, around the Platinum shopping mall. Yeah, I think it's like a 10 minutes walk from the nearest MRT station. So I googled about uh, uh, how many percentage of uh, Muslim in Thailand. It seems like around 10 percent. Yeah, only 10 percent. So the more you go south down, uh, you see more Muslim people because it's a border of Malaysia. So for the Bangkok, I've seen some Muslim people, but yeah, not that much. So I was wondering if there any halal food around the Bangkok. But yes, there is a kind of um, halal food stall and also some even Japanese halal food restaurant. Yeah, I'm sure the halal market is very big and potential. Yeah, it's very busy city with a traffic jam all the time. Yeah, I really recommend you to take a MRT, you know, the public train, whenever you go somewhere. Yeah, the Grab, it's very difficult to even get a Grab taxi and go somewhere, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Oh, here also halal. You go like tempura. Like shrimp, shrimp rolls, crab sticks, fried chicken. Yeah, it's quite a big, big amount. I don't think I can finish it by myself here. Seafood fried rice. Nice, nice. Thailand discovery. Uh, there's a long whole street. It's full of food and some shopping. I see some Muslim people here, so it must be some halal food. They also have a place to eat here. Super grill, but they serve some pork, so this is not halal. Oh yeah, this is halal. Wow, look at this. It's fried shrimp, chicken, yeah, fried chicken and dumpling, gyoza. Yeah, they mentioned it's halal. Wow, very fresh fruits, watermelon, pineapple, 
with this volume, 400, no, 100 Thai bars. This is also halal. No, no, no. Halal, halal. Yeah, halal, 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 halal. All halal. Thank you. Wow, this is also halal. Wow, I think they wrap with their egg. Yeah, looks very delicious, right? Omelette. Wow. Nice. Also, how about you? Yes, yeah, scallop. See scallop. And this is hello. Yeah, you Oyster. Yeah, food is always halal, right? But they they mentioned halal over here. Yeah, it's, I think it's pretty much about it here. So uh, let me try, let me think about where I should get my lunch, my dinner tonight. Wow, this is something I never seen to describe. This is halal food. To show that this the food here is halal. They just put a Muslim woman's picture and telling halal food. But yeah, this might be works here. Yeah, actually, it's pretty much good price.
Thank you. Yeah. Let me try. Mm. Not spicy. spicy at all. I feel a bit sweet. Mm. It comes with some vegetable. How about, how about shrimp? Spicy food, but yeah, I think I need some spice as well. Yeah, I totally enjoyed the dinner at the halal stall in Bangkok. Yeah, uh, to be honest, it's a bit pricey, and also uh, they offer you some the volume so that uh, I think you need someone to come here together then it's better to share like I was going to order like a squid and uh, some fried chickens but uh, you know the volume the quantity is too much 
I don't think I can finish it. And uh, the price is like 200 and 400 Thai baht. Yeah, that's something I cannot eat by myself alone. Yeah, anyway, overall, I really enjoyed the food here. Yeah, so if you have a chance, come here, Bangkok. Uh, this um, palastal is a place where you should visit. All right, so see you next video. Bye-bye.